What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of Arise video. So, this is my second time recording this, so it's not going to be as long as my first one. Not like you'll ever see the first one. But, uh, the Tales of Arise release date trailer has dropped, as well as a gameplay video. And I am super hyped. I don't sound as hyped because I recorded a 20-minute video and I just lost all the footage because my PC decided to crash. So, I'm a little bit uh, irritated. But, I am definitely super hyped for Tales of Arise. Uh, by the way, the release date is September 10th, 2021, so we literally have four and a half months until this game comes out, which is so shocking. I was expecting, like, end of 2021, early 2022, uh, with how quiet they've been, but it does seem like they were waiting to kind of, um, uh, work on these, uh, PS5 and, uh, uh, what do you call it, Xbox Series X version, so very, very exciting there, so we're gonna go over the trailer first, we're just gonna be skimming through everything, um, I will leave both trailer links down below so you can watch them yourself, but, uh, we're really just gonna go over some of the important key points here, um, as, it, you know, for the main trailer, it's gonna be a couple new characters, and then we're gonna take a quick look at some of the gameplay, uh, so let's just hop in. So it looks like we get a look at, uh, you know, Alfin's nation basically enslaved. So, this guy is the one we heard in the narration of the last trailer, and he looks similarly dressed to Alfin. I mean, that could just be because, um, uh, you know, they're from the same kind of camp. Um, but it also could be a case of, like, maybe it's his father? I don't know. Step aside, slave. We've got a better chance working together. Very cool. A long time ago, my people. So this is the girl we saw with the mascot in the hood, and uh, she looks a lot more blue uh, for her outfit than uh, you know our first appearance of her. She looked like she had more of a black cloak. People were once known as mages. So as you heard it right there, her people were once known as mages. So she is going to be one of our casting characters. There's someone I was hoping we could invite along with us. Count me in. We got a punchy boy here too. So definitely a brawler. We don't know their names though. I haven't seen anywhere that uh they've revealed their names, so we're probably going to have to wait for that. The fate of this quest rests entirely in your hands. Plus you can tell with how nice this trailer looks. This is definitely the next gen version they recorded here. What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. I hate end cards. I know I used them myself, but for trailers, I hate them. Because it's like, now we're not going to be able to see this here, but it basically tells you Tales of Arise. Uh, it's coming, so you can see it's September 10th. Uh, Pre-order now. And then you see Xbox Series X, Xbox One, which means also PS5 and PS4. So very exciting uh, stuff there. And then for this, we're going to be skimming through. I, I'm, I'm super excited that it's coming out, you know, this soon. Uh, definitely going to be a nice, uh, you know, late summer, early fall kind of game to dive into, which I will be doing a full playthrough on my channel, normal video style. I will not be doing it stream style because, uh, for a couple reasons, I don't want people to get spoiled if they accidentally click on my stream. And I also don't want to get spoiled myself by someone in the chat that may say something that's like, you know, they might be ahead of me and been like, oh, I can't wait till you get to this part. It's like, no. If I did stream it, I would just not read the chat, but what fun is that? So I will do a normal kind of like uh, playthrough style. So we get a good overview of the world here. I'm guessing this is going to be, like, kind of earlier in the game when you're kind of in these areas. Because a lot of it just looks kind of like barren. So this is Calagia. Calaglia. So now we're going to get to see uh, 
I guess what it kind of looks like to run around this world. By the way, we can jump. Okay, collecting materials. That's pretty standard for, you know, a Tales game. You can see up here they probably just cooked something because there's a little cooking icon. All right, now we get to look at some of the gameplay, which it looks very, um... It looks very interesting. It looks kind of similar to, uh, Berseria. But it looks like it's like a more improved Berseria. Because it does seem fully free roam, uh, in the fight. And by free roam, I mean, like, it's not your usual linear kind of 2D fighting. Which, there have been several games, you know, Graces was kind of 3D. and uh, Berseria had that option as well. Looks like we get some kind of skill tree, which is awesome. I love skill trees. I don't know if it's going to expand or how it's going to work, but uh, you can see here, you know, you just kind of put points into stuff right there. More battle gameplay this time against this big guy right here. They're, obviously, you just saw the dodge mechanics, so that's kind of nice. When they said they wanted to evolve Tails, you know, this is probably what they meant, you know, having more kind of refined gameplay like this. Alright, so that's how you beat this big golem guy. You have to break his core on his back. So it's not going to just be as simple as like, okay, you attack the enemy from the front. Well, maybe her first outfit is just, no, it's blue. That's very disorient. You see it right there, that definitely looks black. Maybe it just looked black as she stepped from, like, darkness into the sunlight. That's when we see her pass out. Alright, we're just skipping through this. To, uh, Sai... Let's try this again. Sislodia, I guess? Sislodia? Sislodia? So another province we're going to have to go to. Okay, you can see that little star icon that's obviously going to be some kind of quest marker. Then there's going to be these exclamation points around where it looks like you're going to be able to, you know, help people. Which we just saw there, Shion healed this lady. So uh, I think Shion will be our definitive healer. We might get like, you know, mage girl having like a heal here and there. Because uh, sometimes they do that. But uh, it looks like our actual defined healer will be uh, Xion. And then, of course, we've seen, even in Justice trailers, different parts of the story where Alfin has different parts of the mask removed. So I do think before the end of the game, he'll probably have the whole mask off, which I will be very happy to see. So you get some swimming action right here. It does look like there's a lot to kind of explore in each of these kind of like routes which i'm very happy with you know the more i'm able to explore and kind of immerse myself i the, the happier i'll be it does seem like mid combo you can switch between characters you know whoever you feel like using in battle i, d I really like how the gameplay looks at first glance um, that looks like a, uh, combo attack. It looked like there was an action command you have to put in to make that happen. Got treasure chests. Uh, looks like a piece of armor. Uh, right here you can see. Um, it looks like it's gonna be very simple with our gear. Uh, you know, weapon, armor, accessory. Um, you know, it doesn't really need to be more complex than that for a, uh, Tales game. Dealing with a giant wolf. Okay, what did that say? Boost break? Yeah, boost break. Okay, interesting. So maybe it's like something you can only do at the start of the battle. I mean, we'll have to experiment with that. I also noticed we have these four kind of like diamonds right here. Um, 
at first it looked like it might be something similar to Berseria's kind of like break gauge system, but it looks like it just refills over time. So I'm guessing those are, yeah, okay, so yeah, you just saw it right there. You just used two arts and it went down by two. So I'm guessing you probably get more of these as the game goes on, but um, that probably determines how many arts you can use. So there's no like mana gauge or anything like that. But, um, you just wait for that to fill. Okay, so, like, as you can see, she only has three of them. Uh, it could just be because she has a mage, or she's a mage. But, uh, I guess we'll have to kind of see ourselves. The gameplay does look very fluid, though, and I'm very happy about that. I think this is going to be a very fun game. I, I was nervous at first, but now that I've kind of seen the gameplay... I'm very excited to see what kind of story we get for this game. Okay, looks like this guy's going to be a vendor of some kind. Are we going to get to see... Okay, so we can see the kind of stuff we can buy here. You know, gels and stuff like that. You don't need to be able to read it to know what's in there. There's like gels and cooking materials and that kind of stuff. I laughed when I first saw this because this just reminds me of the scene in Vesperia, where you get ambushed by the wolves. That one really annoying poison wolf. What did he say? Leel? It's really hard to tell what he's trying to say her name is, but, uh... You know, we'll find out eventually. And there you go, Tales of Arise. Um, they did reveal the Collector's Edition. I didn't really have a uh, concrete image. To... Actually, let's let's go to Twitter real quick. Um, I think someone left a comment, actually, on... Okay, yeah, here we go. So it looks like these are the two kinds of... Uh... So this is the Hoodle Edition. So I'm guessing Hoodle is the name of the mascot. Um, so the Hoodle Edition, it looks like it comes with, uh, some nice stuff here. And then it looks like here, this is the regular, like, Collector's Edition. Which, uh, it'll come with different, uh, you know, DLC costumes. They're only showing... By the way, I've seen people say already that it's like, oh, we're only gonna have four party members. Uh, because that's all that's on here. But they could very well add to this later. Uh, they might just not want to reveal the final two characters yet. But you see we get... Uh, kind of like beach outfits for the four characters. Um, whatever. This is like kind of like samurai, like ninja style outfits. School outfits. Uh, looks like alternate costumes of their like main kind of stuff up here. They're hiding some stuff. Um, you know, you get your steel book. You get your art book. Uh, and you get this figure. So I'm, this is the version I'm definitely going to be buying. Um... So I am very, very excited. Well, assuming this is the same as the actual English release, but uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I'll leave the links to these trailers down below so you can watch for yourself. Let me know what you guys are most excited for. I'm really just excited to hop into this game. It's been so long since I've been able to play, like, a new Tales game. You know, when Berseria just came out, I had fun with it. You know, I had an old channel, which I actually did a, a playthrough series on, but then that channel got taken down. Um, and it was fun to do that, so I'm very excited to kind of do this, you know, play along with you guys, you know, once you guys get further ahead than when I'm playing, uh, you know, you come to the video, you check out, you know, to see my, uh, reactions on things and how I'm playing the game, so I think it'll be a good time, so let me know what you guys think down below, don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel, you want to stay up to date with everything Tales of Arise, and if you want to be here when I start my playthrough on September 10th, I haven't really decided how I'm going to handle it. You know, I'll probably, at least for the first week, I'll probably do two uh, videos a day. So on September 10th through September 17th, you will probably see two episodes of Tales of Arise per day. And then I might slow down a little bit after that. But not, I'm not going to slow down too much until I beat the game. There will at least probably be one episode per day until I've beaten the game. Um, but we'll see. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.